The other thing I love to use is, is the Air Zooka. Um, again, we could do with a volunteer. Um, there are reasons I chose you because when you, but you can take it that little bit further. And I've done this by thinking about quality of measurement. Because something that's really bugged me recently is how do I teach the idea of precision, accuracy, improving measurement? And a lot of that in the GCSE and A-level science courses now. And I thought, well, I can get the, the students to think, well, how can I measure how fast that pulse of air is traveling across there? And give them stopwatches and say, well, can you time it? And I don't, I say, you've got a stopwatch, and then I just let go, and they try and time how fast it takes to go across. It's very difficult. Then I try and improve that, and I go, three, two, one, now. And they, it improves it again. But then you can take it a step further and try and improve the method. Combine the air zooka with the smoke machine, is you can actually see the, the pulse of air going. And so what we're doing is we're thinking about how we can get it improved, because you can see it traveling, and they can stop the stopwatch as it arrives. Lovely, thank you. Like all true physicists, you can scale things up. And I, can, I need two volunteers for this to help me hold it, please. It's just a dustbin, and I've cut the end out of the dustbin and mounted a bit of um, builder's sack. So if you'd like to come and stand here, can I have the smoke machine controller again? So if you stand one side and hold this one and this one, you stand that side and hold that one and that one. And Gary, you've got away with most of this so far, so if you could come and stand here. If we can move back slightly, we'll aim the smoke machine in the end. And then we'll see whether we can get a gay smoke machine done. And, oh, I missed. <laughs> and I don't think it gets much better than that in the physics classroom. Give these guys a round of applause, please.